The Travis Scott effect is in full force right now. Travis Scott himself is back on the scene making moves. There's a bunch of upcoming releases and I've got a bunch of information which I need to tell you guys. So definitely stay tuned if you're trying to grab any of his upcoming shoots. But of course, we gotta do a release recap before we get into all of the upcoming releases. And real quick before we do, again, I just wanna let you know if you're new to the channel, if you haven't seen one of these episodes, we do this every single Sunday. So if you wanna stay in the loop, if you wanna keep up to date with all of the information, information in the sneaker world subscribe now with that being said let's talk about some of these releases that happened um, and let's start with Yeezy slides so of course we had the restock of the ochre the green glow and the pure did you manage to get any from what I understand a lot of people managed to get these slides so it does seem like uh, Yeezy brand has just pumped the stock ready for summertime so everybody can have a pair and then of course the Jordan 4 military black those things dropped yesterday let me know if you managed to get a pair I'm not too sure what the stock was like out in the US I think they were relatively limited here in the UK. I took an L on the Nike sneakers app. And then also yesterday was the Yeezy 700 V3 Popsicle or as it's better known as the Fade Carbon. I just took L's everywhere so I think the stock was pretty limited so I just decided to move on. Now again let me know your experience. Did you manage to get a pair? Right recap out of the way let's get into some of this upcoming news and what better place to start with than the upcoming Jordan 4 Midnight Navy. If you took an L on the Military Black Force well this is a pretty decent consolidation price. I mean, I personally prefer the Military Black Force, but this is a very, very solid colorway that is upcoming on October the 1st. Not much to talk about on this one. There's no more images or anything extra. Solid colorway. Let's keep it moving. All right, so from what I understand, guys, there's a lot of you who is pretty kind of meh when it comes to Jordan 1 releases this year. Like, I've definitely heard a decent amount of you who have just been like, yeah, not much has dropped that I'm very interested in. Well, does this either go with what you're saying or are you liking this one? So take a look at this here. This is the Jordan 1 Heirloom and I mean, it's interesting. At least we can give it that. They're switching things up. I don't expect this one to be very popular. I mean, uh, pretty much the upper is this canvas material or at least that's what it looks like. I think this might be just another factor for people to kind of talk about the Jordan 1 in a somewhat negative light, talk about, you know, the hype is gone, the hype is dead, because I just don't see that this colorway does anything incredible. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if it ended up sitting on Nike sneakers app, depending on how limited it is. The way, if you are interested in this one, it is going to be dropping on September the 17th. All right, of course, we've got to talk about Travis Scott. Listen, he is back. He took a hiatus for, I mean, at least a good few months, but he's back and he's dropping more sneakers and he started off by releasing what was supposed to drop last year. What went down was the Travis Scott website did a little launch. Now, they only dropped the trainers. So these two right here, they dropped on his website. They did it through a raffle. I actually entered and got nothing. Either way, as you know, when it comes to Travis Scott releases, as these dropped on his website, well, they will have an upcoming release on the Nike sneakers app and a bunch of other raffle places. And that is scheduled for May the 27th. So if you took an L on the raffle release from Travis Scott, then hopefully you'll get another shot, whether it's Nike sneakers or some other raffle that you end up entering. Something that didn't drop on Travis Scott's website, which I think a lot of people were expecting, is the the much more hyped up Air Max One. So of course this is coming in two different colors. This is the Baroque Brown, but there also will be this Saturn Gold color, which I think will be significantly less hype. The hype of Travis Scott is definitely back and it is definitely still there no matter what you think of him. That man can still sell out a pair of shoes like that. These two Air Maxes are going to be dropping on the Nike sneakers app. What we don't know is if they're going to drop on the Travis Scott website or not. We haven't seen them load up or anything like that. We haven't really heard any information information on that. Now, I would imagine that they do. Um, whether they do or not, all I can say is just keep your eyes out on the Travis Scott website. And of course, if I hear anything, I will keep you up to date, whether it's here on the channel or whether it's over on Instagram at Elliot Page Sneakers, if you want to go and follow me over there. Now, we're not done with the Travis Scott news because if the trainers and the Air Maxes didn't pique your interest, well, guess what? We've got a release date for the even more hyped up Jordan 1 Low. This is the reverse mocha colorway, something that we've seen Travis Scott wear over and over again for the past, 
I mean, almost a year now. These things are going to be in incredibly high demand. They're probably going to kind of line up with the hype that the Travis Scott Fragment one had. We finally got a release date and we know these are going to be dropping on July the 21st, or at least that's a tentative release date. Let's hope that everything goes to plan because I just don't want to see these keep getting pushed back. Of course, as we close in on that release date, I will keep you guys up to date on any more valuable information about this pair of sneakers. Today's video is sponsored by the Paragon Network. Paragon is a community and membership based on Discord, which is an app you can get on your phone or PC. You all know how hard it is to cop sneakers nowadays, and Paragon has a huge amount of resources to make sure that you have the best chances at copying. I've been a member for a while, and I was super surprised when I saw how much they offer their members. Not only are you part of a group of like-minded sneakerheads who share knowledge and insight, but Paragon also offers detailed release guides for each drop. They've got restock monitors, so you'll know as soon as a retailer restocks a hyped pair of sneakers. They've got raffle monitors, so whenever there's a drop, you've got a concise list of every raffle that you can enter as soon as they're available, so you have the best odds. Paragon prides themselves on being a super helpful and supportive community, so they offer guides and assistance for every aspect of their service, so even if you're brand new to this, they'll help you every step of the way. There's so many perks and benefits to being part of the Paragon community. They even do things like sneaker raffles, where you pay £10 an entry, there's only 25 tickets, and they do do this weekly. You can even take advantage of their trusted marketplace, a place for you to buy and sell your sneakers, which is super helpful to have access to. If you're tired of taking L's, definitely give Paragon a go. Now they never normally do this, but I managed to get you guys 20% off your first month. Just use my discount code PAGE20 at checkout. Once again, thank you Paragon for sponsoring today's video, but let's get back to it. All right, very quickly, let's talk about the Soleil Benberry Crocs because these things are right around the corner. So I just kind of want to give you a little bit of a reminder, tell you a couple places on where to get these things. As of right now, there are a few different raffles that have loaded up. I know Foot Patrol has one, but I think the main place is going to be the Crocs website. There's not going to be a huge amount of pairs of these things, so expect them to be pretty limited, just like the last ones. Either way, if you wanted to try out a fresh new take on a pair of Crocs, I think these are really solid. May the 24th is the date for these so you've got about a day to enter raffles and get yourself prepared um, I definitely check out the Crocs website and I definitely check out a couple places where you know that there's going to be raffles and clothing 43 Ein Lab SNS they're all holding raffles so just have a little peek around if you are interested in these right, let's talk a little bit about Yeezy brand because I mean it just feels like they've been so quiet over the past almost two months now there hasn't really been any massive drops for them no new silhouettes or anything crazy we have this picture here which seems like it's pretty interesting and it definitely goes with some of the leaked images that we've seen of some of the upcoming 350s. Now we've seen the white colorway with the black stripe. We've also seen the beige colorway with that black stripe. Now I honestly, as we were seeing the leaks, I thought they were the same shoe and it was just different lighting. Turns out they're two different complete colorways. Um, and then this new one, which is this kind of minty light blue color, again with the black stripe. So this trio, again, kind of coming together with similarity it kind of makes me think that they could drop these three together as maybe a region exclusive release which we have seen in the past we don't have a specific release date on this I do believe that they are going to drop this year I think towards the end around September time if I can recall correctly from the other two colorways now sticking with Yeezy brand we do have official images of the upcoming Yeezy 350 uh, compact slate carbon I believe this colorway is supposed to drop this month we have seen some pictures of it in hand it's all over black with some kind of blue elements and then also kind of the tan color or the the kind of stone color in the upper it is an interesting pair i just don't think people are the biggest fan of this compact model now house of heat is saying may the 28th i've heard may the 27th so we do have a little bit of a conflicting release date there we haven't seen too much. We'll just have to wait and see if they load up this week. And if they do, we know when the release date is. If they don't, maybe expect them to be pushed back to next month or something like that. Billie Eilish and Nike are not done. They are not done whatsoever. So we had the 15s, we had the AJKO, we had the Air Force One. Well, now we're getting an Air Force One low. And this one is actually pretty interesting. So take a look at this. 
Um, again, she's going with this, this tan color, all over monochromatic, so really nothing changed there. But the upper on this has definitely changed. So what it kind of looks like is it's kind of just these square panels all over it. There's also kind of squared off stitching running down the entire upper of the sneaker. Now if this colorway and this model and of course Billie Eilish interested you in this sneaker, well they're supposed to be dropping in September. No specific date in September, but just expect it around there. All right, massive news over here because if this drops is going to shake the sneaker world 100% so this is what you're looking at right now is of course the concept Nike Dunk Low Orange Lobster now, obviously we know the concept purple lobster that sneaker is going for a ton of money on the aftermarket super hyped up kind of one of those iconic dunks from a while back well this is apparently going to just switch up the color and everything else kind of stays the same they've still got that kind of elastic band around the toe um, they've still got the interesting sock liner now this article doesn't have any official or leaked images for that matter this is just a rendered image I believe I think they just swapped the color from the purple lobster on this model um, so there could be some changes but apparently some kind of orange lobster concepts Nike Dunk Low is going to be dropping here in 2022 right, another collaboration in the pipeline now we don't have much information on this this is kind of just the first leaked rumor that we have have Union and Jordan Brand once again coming together to create something everybody loves. Now upcoming of course they have the Cortez model which I think is going to kind of be a little bit more meh. They're very very out there in terms of the design and the look and stuff like that. Well now they're kind of saying in the leak that we have here is that they're apparently going to be dropping a Jordan 1 low. This is supposed to happen around the holiday time of 2022 so again November December around that period and I for one cannot wait to see what Union and Jordan can come up with on a Jordan 1 low, I think it would be extremely interesting. Right, I'm gonna keep this story pretty quick because we've spoke about it, we've gone over it. I did just wanna show you these crispy images of a sneaker that's very quickly become one of my most anticipated for this year. This is the uh, Sakai and Nike collaboration on the Cortez, and this is specifically that kind of gray color that we saw recently, but I definitely don't mind this gray colorway by any means. I'll, I'll take whatever I can get my hands on when it comes to this model, so, yeah, I just wanted to show you these images. Again, there's no release date, there's no updated information. You just get a better idea on whether this is something that piques your interest or not. All right, we've got some updated information on the upcoming Amar Menor Jordan 2 release. So obviously that got pushed back. Remember when they got kind of broken into and then they postponed the release and everything like that? Uh, well, they've kind of put down a new release date. So we've got two different dates for you guys to get down if you want this pair of sneakers. The first one is June the 1st. First, and that's going to be on the Amar Menor website release. Um, the wider release, however, which will be Nike sneakers, um, I guess different raffles and stuff like that, that will take place on June the 4th. So again, you've got two different opportunities here to get your hands on this pair of twos if you are interested. Um, I think the hype is definitely there, but uh, like I said, when it comes to Jordan 2s, we haven't seen, I mean, it's not like a Jordan 1 or a Jordan 4 or something super, super hyped up. It is still a Jordan 2 because it's a collaboration, it is still very hyped up, but it's just not, it's not up there. You know what I'm saying? So just very quickly here, because they brought it up on the Nike Sneakers Live the other day, um, Union and Nike with the Cortez model. So as far as I'm aware from the Nike Sneakers Live, they had this little live thing on the app where they had the Union guy, Chris Gibbs, come in. Uh, well, they brought out these shoes and they said they were going to release next month around June. I think they said 21st of June. Um, from what they said on the Nike sneakers app. Just take that as a tentative release date based on my memory, but I believe it was June the 21st. So guys, we finally, it's been a minute, but we finally have a look at the J Balvin Jordan 2. Remember we had those really like pitch black images with them glowing in the dark and stuff like that? Well, take a look at this. This is what it looks like. So this is it in the daylight. Yes, there are some special tricks it can do in the nighttime, um, but let's get a look at some of these materials and some of these colors from this picture like it doesn't look as 
crazy as I thought it was gonna be. Like, obviously the colors are pretty interesting. It's got like rainbow in the stitching, but for the most part, it's kind of a monochromatic gray and light blue. Um, you do have this very interesting cloud look for the back tab. But apart from that, I mean, it's a Jordan 2 silhouette. There hasn't been much change with like the midsole, the paneling, like it all seems very, very Jordan 2. Like when he did the Jordan 1s, he changed a lot. He made like all of the edges spiky. He put a whole new print on it. Like you can hardly tell that that's a Jordan 1. Um, so this one, I guess, is a little bit more tame. Then let me just show you what this thing does in the nighttime. So real quick, take a look at this because I think this is a real key indicator on what it does. So this is kind of like, I mean, you can see there's a lightning bolt there. If I'm not mistaken, it looks like a power thing. Like, you know, when you switch something on, that's what that looks like. Because in this shot here, it looks like that Jordan Wings logo is literally lighting up. Now, I would say it potentially just glows in the dark, but that looks significantly brighter, almost like it is its own light source. I'm not entirely sure, but that potentially could be something that literally you turn on and it lights up. But uh, as of right now, we don't have a release date for this. I would expect sometime this year. That's what House of Heat is saying. All right, guys, final story. We're just gonna wrap it up with some light Drake Hot Step Air Terra Nocta news. We've got two colorways to take a look at with both on feet images. Images. This one right here, which we have seen Drake wearing, so nothing too surprising with this colorway, all over black with the yellow back thing. And I think this might be one of the cleanest colorways that have dropped. I like the all white colorway, but this one with the yellow and the black, I think is pretty clean. Now, obviously, uh, you let me know what you think of this silhouette. It definitely is not everybody's favorite. I don't mind it. Take a look at the other one. So this is the other colorway that's upcoming. This is a little bit left field because it almost looks like it was dip dyed all over purple. This is not my favorite colorway by any means. Um, but uh, yeah, this is an upcoming colorway. You can expect both of these colorways at some point here in 2022. Uh, but with that being said, guys, thank you so much for coming through, hanging out for yet again another video. Thank you for liking, commenting, and of course, subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.